Good evening, everyone. My name is Diane Fisher, and I live at 411 Oak Street. Um, and uh, I'm very nervous. <laughs> so um, as, I said, as I mentioned, I wasn't, wasn't planning to speak to that. And also, um, that is a, a just over an acre piece of property where they're looking at putting multiple houses, and I, um, I just want to ask that we consider um, the size of the, the lots in those, those cases. So I haven't had a chance to read the information. I'm gonna just read my statement in, because it, cover, it speaks to this piece of land as well as the other piece of land, okay? Uh, I've lived at 411 Oak Street since September of 2020. We chose this location because of the community, my long family history in the area, and mostly because of access to trees and natural spaces, including the Little Miami, a nationally recognized scenic and recreational river, and Grailville, a center of education, leadership, peace, and care of the earth. Our family can often be found outside enjoying the mental and physical and spiritual health benefits that being in nature provides. During the past two years, activities in nature have proven to be more important than ever to many people I know. It is not lost on me that we are meeting during No Mo May and Mental Health Awareness Month to discuss how many more lawns filled with pesticides and herbicides should be allowed, invited, encouraged into our area. Because let's face it, the majority of lawns in newer subdivisions are being treated with chemicals regularly. Each of us, every person is a steward for our community, which includes land, waterways, plants, animals, and humans. This responsibility is amplified for those with administrative roles such as yourselves and is not limited simply to financial considerations. We all see our world and climate changing at a rapid pace. Many of us feel helpless to do anything about it. Most of us are so busy or overwhelmed, we can't fathom getting involved. Thank you to everyone who shows up, even when it's hard or when you'd rather be somewhere else, particularly when you do it month after month after month. Today, I simply ask us to pause, lower our shoulders, unclench our jaws, and breathe, thanks to the trees. To radically listen, ask questions, consider possibilities, consider our life, consider our legacy. My heart is heavy at the thought of a bunch of houses at the end of my road and another large subdivision being built nearby, especially on land that has been lovingly tended, land so viscerally sacred, land that is certified organic, land that offers joy and solace to many of us, provides homes and food sources to a wide variety of plants, fungi, and animals. We humans are perfectly imperfect beings, and while I believe we are doing our very best every day, 
that often involves a lot of mistakes, regrets, and messes to clean up, big and small. Members of this community have and continue to work diligently to clean up land and water for us and for future generations. We can easily see that in the state and national certifications, in the grant recently, recently obtained to remediate the Chestnut Street property, in the three gallon buckets of trash my partner collects regularly from the nearby streets. Change is inevitable. It is the only constant. In fact, we have all changed since I began speaking. The question is, what do you want that change to look and feel like? Personally, I want as, much, as many trees and as much natural green space as possible for all of us, for all the reasons. Woo! Woo